Hi YouTube, you've probably seen some of the other videos that I've posted up on uh, Herbie the Armadillo. Uh, this one's just going to be about this new ball that I've just got for him, literally. Uh, the grey ball that you can see in the back there is his older one. Uh, anything kind of spiky with textures and things he seems to like playing with. Um, this new one's good because it's got holes in it. You can see like it's putting his nose in it. Um, and yeah, this is the first, the first time that I showed him this new ball. So these are the first interactions that he's having with it. And uh, he seems to like it. Yeah, any sort of research that you do, um, you realise that um, any kind of forms of enrichment that you can give to armadillos in captivity, um, they seem to enjoy that, any toys and things like this. Hey buddy, where's your name? Where's it? <laughs> what was that? Um, yeah, his old grey ball, he um, he likes a lot, like he'll, every day he'll make a nest and his ball will be out and then he'll take his grey ball with him uh, into his nest and he kind of sleeps with it, which is quite cute. Uh, so hopefully this green one will be as popular. We'll have to see. But I mean, I'm hoping I can get some footage to show you because he does grab the ball sometimes and roll right onto his back and actually like, you know, sort of like plays with it in between his legs while he's on his back. But I haven't been able to get any footage of that yet, but um, I'll keep filming him and see what we get. Yeah, I'll just do this as like a series of short clips as and when he plays with it, really. Yeah, no matter what toys and things I give him, that he seems to, um, you know, as much as he enjoys, love, you know, loves playing with the toys, he would much prefer to be out and about you know, just having his head stroked and his tummy stroked and the back of his, um, oh, there, he's like struggling to get up. It's, it's quite funny when he gets on his side and then he, he has to like kick his legs quite a bit to be able to right himself. But, um, yeah, when he's out, he just loves being scratched and tickled really. So, I mean, you can see there, like him sort of going onto his back, but there's not enough kind of hay around really for him to actually be able to get onto his back and be able to right himself. It's because he's halfway through building his nest at this stage when I've um, put the ball in, so most of his hay has gone at the back to build the nest, which you'll see in a second. Okay, so this, this is him building the nest. This is the same day. Um, with the green ball um, and what he's done he's, he's again like he does every day he's grabbed all of his um, Timothy hay and he's pulling it uh, into the corner so this was quite a thick layer of hay he goes through the same routine every day grabs the hay pulls it all either into a corner or into a sort of cork bark tube um, to make his nest and he'll spend a long time doing this um, and you'll see coming up uh, you'll see where his green ball is at this point. So can you see it there? Look, I'll freeze frame this for a sec. There you go. So that gives you some idea where the green ball is at this point, right at the, um, you know, the other end of his cork bark. Okay. The reason that I'm showing you that is just um, because it's quite interesting. Like on this his first day of nest building. Um, he's already taken his grey ball uh, into the nest, I think, at this point. Um, and he's still making the nest. And you'll see later on how he, at the end of this, when he's finished making his nest, he takes his green ball and he pushes it um, to the end so that it's in the nest with him as well before he finally settles uh, enough to go to sleep. So it's quite cute. It's quite cute that on the very first day that he gets this new ball, he plays with it 
and then he obviously likes it enough um, that it's become sort of not not a replacement for his grey ball, but he likes it, you know, in a similar way to how he likes his grey ball, enough to take it into his nest to sleep with it. Yeah, he's he's a very kind of consistent animal where his his daily routine is the same. You know, he'll get up in the morning, sort of first light. He'll have his um, mealworms or giant mealworms. Um, he has a tub of mealworms every morning, uh, and then he runs on his wheel uh, and then starts dragging all of the hay, which. Um, you know, since being asleep the night before, he then pulls all his nest out again, spreads it all around. So he's got a layer, deep layer of hay over everything, and then he'll come and drag it all back again to form a nest. Uh, every day, he does the same thing. So he seems to love it, and he seems to love, you know, running on his wheel, having his food, making his nest, and then anyone he's very you know, he's made his nest perfectly and he's very particular about it. When it's all in place, then he goes to sleep. But it takes him quite a long time to get to that stage. It does make me wonder what they do in the wild because um, this species is from Brazil and other species of armadillo actually dig a burrow um, to nest in. Um, this particular species in the wild, I know they live in the burrows that have been made by other animals. Um, like maybe other mammals um, before them, dug the nest, dug a hole, and then these guys come along, find that hole, and make their nest in that. But I do wonder if, in the wild, they um, pull out all of their um, nesting material, you know, hay or whatever else they've managed to find, maybe moss and that kind of thing. I wonder if they pull it all out of the nest uh, every day and replace it with fresh stuff just to keep their... Um, nest all clean be interesting to know yeah I was offered a nine banded armadillo baby uh, many many years ago and I really uh, gave that a lot of careful consideration at the time because they're another brilliant species that I would like to keep one day but um, after doing a bit of research I mean they grow quite a bit bigger than these guys so they would need a lot more to eat for one thing but also they dig their own burrows so I was just concerned that we would be kept up all night with this kind of scrabbling uh, <laughs> noise as that armadillo um, dug a burrow. Um, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to go for this type. I mean, I, I prefer the shape of these guys anyway and the fact they curl completely into a ball. But um, yeah, I really like the idea of keeping these just because they're so much smaller and they don't dig their own burrows, so they don't scrabble about anywhere near as much as the big ones do. Yeah, I could spend absolutely hours watching him and his antics. Uh, it, that might just be me, because um, I think I mentioned in another video that this particular species is my favourite species of animal like on the whole planet. So uh, I just love watching him and what he does. And... I love kind of leaving him to it, you know, watching him. And quite often I'm up at night because I do a lot of painting and things and that's just when I work best. Um, so I'll be up in the living room painting and I'll I'll look to see what he's up to. Uh, and if he's doing anything interesting, I just stop and watch. Um, I try and video it, but quite often I miss it. I just, you know, he'll be doing something interesting and I'll miss what he's doing. So I'm going to try from now on to to video him as much as possible so that I catch as many things as I can. Okay, I've fast forwarded up this bit to four times normal speed um, so you can see him sort of <laughs> dragging all his um, hay in and uh, yeah, continues making his nest. It's basically the same as before, just scooping up lots of Timothy hay, pulling it to the nest area um, and you'll see in a second at the end of this particular bit um, you can see his ball uh, and where he's dragged it from the other end of the cork bark it's probably about halfway by this stage but he'll pull it um, into the nest because he's almost finished building his nest uh, and he's, he wants to get that ball and drag it in as well 
So I'll do a freeze frame in a second to show you. There you go. There it is. See, so he's pulled it all the way to the nest, um, and in a sec he'll drag it under the Timothy hay, uh, and then he'll carry on making his nest and then curl up and fall asleep with it. Okay, I've fast forwarded again, uh, four times normal speed. Uh, you can see him like putting the grey ball in under the Timothy hay and the green one. And he's basically just, I think he's probably just positioning them now where he wants them, where they're going to be most comfortable when he falls asleep. Yeah, I have to clean out all his Timothy hay. Um, probably once every couple of weeks, something like that, clean it all out. It would be fine, but he spends a lot of time dragging it into his water dish at night time, so it gets a bit soggy, <laughs> certainly in places. I remove the worst of it when I can, but um, yeah, it needs a, a complete new set every uh, couple of weeks. Okay, this is back to normal speed just for the uh, very end bits of him making his nest. Yeah, he'll quite often, he'll look like he's curled up, he'll look like he's gone to sleep, or, you know, almost gone to sleep, and then he'll suddenly appear again and start pulling even more hay in. But um, this is where he stops for the day. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this of Herbie in the future. Thanks for watching.